Cora cladding comes with an optional integrated corner. There's a left and a right corner. The left and right does not refer to the side of the building, but rather the corner itself. A left corner, when held with the mortar joint down, has a long edge on the left side and a short edge on the right side. You can tell by holding the corner as shown. The right corner is just the reverse, with the long edge on the right side and the short edge on the left side. It's a good idea to lay out the wall before starting when the wall will finish with an integrated corner on each end. Start on the left side, just like a regular Cora panel. The reason it's a good idea to lay out your corners is because the panels and corners probably won't be spaced perfectly and a panel will have to be cut with a corresponding seam. And if you plan ahead, you can decide the best location for the seam. Here we've laid out the panels and made a decision to put the seam under the window on the right side. We overlap the panel to cut and determine where the joint will fall, then cut that panel to match up with the end of the left panel. Our fastener cover can be positioned to break up the mortar joint. First install the left corner. Check to make sure the corner isn't less than 85 degrees or more than 95 degrees. Cora integrated corners are pretty forgiving for corners that aren't perfectly 90 degrees, but our 90 degree corner should not be used for other angles as forcing the angle or forcing the corner will break it. Make sure the corner is installed level and online with where the panels are going to be installed. When you've reached the point in the wall where you want to place the seam, cut the right panel to fit against the left edge of the left panel. Caulk the edges and then attach the panel. When you reach the right corner, your corner should fit if you've measured and laid out the wall correctly. Install the right corner. Now that we've finished the wall by putting on our right corner, you can see that even before we hide the joint, it's pretty hard to see. To finish the seam, run a nice thick bead of color matched caulk or paintable exterior caulk along the edge. There are a number of ways to tool the caulk, which are covered in the quick tip videos on caulking. Here we're going to demonstrate using a paintbrush to rough the texture of the caulk, but you can also use sand to make the joint nearly invisible. Again, that's all covered in our caulking tips video. Touch up the caulk after it's dried just a little bit and smooth it out. And then you can take just a stiff dry brush and lightly tap the edges of the caulk. Now you can see that the joint is pretty much invisible. We started this wall with a right corner, so now we'll go to the next layer up and we'll put in a left corner. So a right corner on the bottom and a left corner on the top. And you just stagger those corners as you go up the wall. 